Okay, finally, there we go. Oh, I was trying for very, very long. Finally, hear my voice. Oh, you will not understand how happy I am for this. But I am playing Sally Face. Hooray! <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'm mildly going insane. Just mildly. I went. That made sense. My mic's still walking, hopefully. Okay, yeah, it's still walking. Okay, okay. I'm a little paranoid about, about, about it now. It was just like the last time. Only this time, it's saw it in the hospital. I can hear a heartbeat. And the phone ring. It's a little dark in here, isn't it? Got... Did that picture change? I think that picture changed. Hello? Hello, hello, hello? Hello? It's okay, Sal. Everything is going to be okay now. Come and see. Where am I? Don't worry about that. Just come and find me. Weird. Sound like my dad. I'm not sure if I seem calm about this or not. Whoa, it's not my face. <laughs> Open this. Got a key. A key! Hooray! Great observation skills, Sal. Great observation skills. I'm a little creeped out by that painting now. Nope, nope, no, move it on. Okay, I know this bit. I know this bit. Go D. And then. O. And it's getting a little bit gory. But then you find G, because of dogs. EOG as a dog. There's a little bit of a funeral. <laughs> Hello? Can I talk to any of y'all? Oh hey, it's a dog! Who's a good doggy? Who's a good boy? I buried whole life, kid. You tell me. Uh huh? They climb down to the abyss. It's still raining. Well, not anymore. But ooh. Okay, I don't know what the password is. Dang it! <laughs> Hold on, I'm looking this up. Five three six four. Was that it? Five three six. Enter. Okay. Batteries included. Hooray! We love that. Maybe a bit broken glass. Up. Oh, there's my dad. Dad? You are not my son. My son is not a mortal. It looks like one of those atomic blasts where they just explode in the shadow stays. This is your fault, and that opened by itself. Ooh. Mom? Are you. Aww. And that's when I woke up. Hmm. Yes, it's an interesting dream. I think we should come back to that dream later, but for now, can you tell me more about the body? Which one? The second one. The one from the apartment. Diana had just moved in. I had a weird feeling about that place right away. Alright. Episode 1, Strange Neighbors. Oh, hold on, one second. Oh, wait, something about new beginnings. We can finally leave what happened in New Jersey behind us now. Why don't you go explore the building and make some friends while I finish unpacking? I give them all an accent. 
Okay, that's leaving. This is my room. There's a cat. Gizmo! I see for myself at home already, Gizmo. Must be nice. I love Gizmo. He's the best cat in the world. I mean, I don't have a cat, so I can't be biased. <laughs> In my dad's room. There's a giant mattress. This is my dad. Hey, Kira decided to take a break from unpacking. You literally just told me to. It's not a bad idea. We've been at that for a while now. There's one. Maybe I'll take a break myself. Miss Mom. Soft and depressing stuff. Yeah. Me too, buddy. Me too. What do you think about this place? It may not be as nice as our old house, but we'll make the best of things. As long as we have each other, I think we can make it a real home here. I know you do, bud. But please try to give it a chance. School will still up in a couple of days, and you'll be able to make all new friends. Yeah, I guess so. I know so! And we'll be truly lucky to have you as a friend, Sal. Thanks, Dad. Mm-hmm. See ya. Try not to get in too much trouble. No promises. Always never no promises. Okay, nothing over there. <laughs> do 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 houses. I'm not sure if I could have sworn I heard something in here. Sleep aid. That's still trouble sleeping at night after After what so? And then the kitchen, some bags. Just some stuff that I got from the store. Nothing important. Okay, okay. I love this game. Yay! I could have sworn I had like a shower or something. Every time I walk past that bathroom. But there's no one there. Ooh. <laughs> and now for the gruesome task of going through every door just to see anything. Hello, stranger. Hello. Why are you standing here? I'm protecting nosy little freaks from, like you from seeing what they ought not to see. That's scram. I don't get paid to babysit. Who are you? I'm your fairy fucking godmother. What does it look like? I'm an officer of the law, so you better show me some respect. What happened in that room? Police business, kid. Why don't you go run along back to your, to your parents? I wish I could. What was that, wise ass? Nothing. That's what I thought. Stupid weirdo kid, Grum Grumble. Did you just straight up say Grumble Grumble? That's beautiful. I played this game and I still don't know how to play it. <laughs> so, all the way from the end, my eye is watering, so. Locked. You would never have guessed it, but it's locked. What about this one? Locked. Whoa. This one's actually opened. I didn't expect that. Hello? And this is not homeless man. Sorry, I didn't think anyone lived up here. Hello? So, are you okay? You shouldn't have come here. I'm sorry, I was trying to get my, to know my new neighbors and a dark place. This building. Oh, oh wait, oh, hello, blah, 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 blah. Ah, hi! I've never been raided before. Oh, hello. How are you guys doing? <laughs> Thank you for the raid. It really means a lot. We're playing Sally Face. Very lovely game. I literally just started the game, so this is episode one at the very beginning. Hello. Oh, thank you. Hi. <laughs> oh, this is this is making me really happy already. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't know how to react. I've never been raided. Thank you. <laughs> well, I hope you guys stay and enjoy this stream, and uh, and also have a lovely day. Thank you for for the oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm a little bit excited from this, if you can't tell. <laughs> Anyways, back to the game. <laughs> Horrible things will happen. Are you sure you're okay? Oh, knock on the door. Who, who knocks on the door? What the? Who's knocking on the door? Oh, wait, no, that's the bathroom. Oh. Uh. Stop trying to go into the bathroom. Thank you. You paid Sally Face too, so had had to bring the level. Oh, thank you. Th thank you for bringing the level. <laughs> this is making me too giggly. <laughs> well, I don't I don't think there's anything. 
<laughs> oh, I just I just looked at the view account. We have 43 views. That's like a lot. <laughs> Take a deep breath. You'll be fine. Thank you. <laughs> it's just the initial shock. I'll be I'll be fine. Wait, hold on. Level three. Okay. Deep breath. <laughs> oh hey, I I forgot her name. Ah, hey. Oh my, Lisa. Sorry, you just stalled me a bit. You must be one of the new guys from 402, right? I'm so tired though, I will head off, have a good sleep. Thank you! Have a, have a good rest! Also stop, stop buying, stop buying, blah, blah, stop buying the poor person. With all the excitement going on today, I haven't had a chance to stop in and say hey. Aww. <laughs> well hopefully Nessie has, has a nice rest. Yeah, it's just me and my dad. My name's Sal. Pleasure to meet you Sal, I'm Lisa. I take care of this place, keep things up and running. So if you ever need help with anything, don't hesitate to ask, okay? Sure, thanks. You're quite welcome. Okay, let's, let's go explore. And then we'll go talk back to Lisa. Wait, can we say anything to Lisa? Over you? Hey Lisa. Hey Sal, what's up? How long have you been walking here? Actually, I don't just walk here, I live here too. I'm on call 24-7 for any urgent maintenance needs. needs. Despite what you may hear from others, this is a lovely building. I'm happy to call it home. Going on 10 years now. Seems like a nice place. You betcha. What does it say about this? Oh, all kinds of stuff, I'm sure. This building is well over 100 years old, you know. People always complaining about one thing or another. But you hear no complaints from me. I'm a woman of action. If I see a problem, I fix it. Yeah, most people seem to complain a lot about the small things. You can't sort the small stuffs out. It's just no way to live, you know? You're right. Take it from me. You focus on the good stuff, focus on what makes you happy in life, put your energy into that. Changing the subject. So do you know anything what happened in, what four, what happened in 403? It's a shame you and your dad had, had this crummy false impression. I promise things aren't typically so gruesome around here. Poor Mrs. Sanderson. Who's Miss Sanderson? Oh, never mind that. Best to put your mind on such dreadful things. Is there anything fun to do? You know what? I have a son around your age. I think you two would get along great. He's downstairs in our apartment. You should go introduce yourself. Oh, someone's home. Whoa! Sure, I'll go say hi. Great, his name is Larry. He'll be in the basement. Tell him I sent you down. You'll need a key card to access it from the elevator, though. Here, take this one. I've got a few extras. Cool, thanks. New stuff! Hooray! And then you can see it. Oh wait, no, never mind. Is this building haunted? Sal, sweetie. I've been taking care of the ass in apartments for a long time, and I've never seen any ghosts or goblins. That's just people's overactive imaginations. Too much sweets in scary movies, if you ask me. It's Halloween. See ya. See ya then. No one is home. Yeah, who's there? Hello, I'm new in the building. Just wanted to introduce myself to the neighbors. Okay, come in. I would probably do like actual voices for these characters if I would actually remember them. Hi, my name is Sal. I moved in today with my dad. What the hell's with your face, child? Oh, I know. Young teens, a new generation of self-expression. I was young once myself. I get it. Just so as long as you're not in a gang or anything. You're not in a gang, are you? No, no, it's nothing like that. Wonderful. Well, I'm Charlie. Don't mess with my stuff and we'll be okay. I'm a collector, you see. I collect many things. Beautiful things. I think it was a Minecraft reference. These things are my, all like my family, so if you mess with my collections, you're messing with my family. Got it? Yes, so. Not a problem. I won't be giving you any trouble. Good to hear. Anything I could talk to you about? So. Yep, I know. You're speechless because you've never seen such an awesome collection. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, anytime I'm home, you can stop by and take it all in again. Nice place you got. It's my own chunk of heaven, just me and my stuff. Do you live here alone? Alone? Look around you, I have all the company I could ever need. Well, it is nice to have a visitor from time to time, I suppose. Be right back. Do -do -do. I'm looking at it. Bask in the glory of my complete set of glitter ponies. A great accomplishment is to have the full set. You can look all you want, but don't even think about touching them. What's a glitter pony?
My god, child! Have you never seen My Little Pony's Rainbow Spectacular? It's the only the greatest television show ever produced. It's got drama, action, romance, comedy, everything you could ever want. And the ponies. Oh, the ponies. Don't even get me started. Mmm, yeah. Creepy. Huh. Guess I missed that one. I'll have to look for it on TV. Yes, you will. Trust me, you won't regret it. <laughs> I'm scared, Charlie. <laughs> On to, the, on to the fourth level, the base floor. Starting off from the very end, like I normally do. <laughs> knock knock, anyone home? Up, oh, someone's here. Yeah, what do you want? A little early for trick or treating, isn't it? Uh. Stupid good for nothing kids, grumble grumble. I like to imagine you're just actually saying grumble grumble. It makes it funnier. No one's home. Oh dear, what a frightful. Oh. Pardon me, let's start over. <laughs> Hello, young son. New visitors of Addison Apartments from 402. How may I be a service? How do you know who I am? I know all that takes place within these walls, so you good. You, you, you did good to remember that. Can I come in? Heavens no. I'm afraid that I'm quite particular about privacy. I'm sure you understand. Sure. Goodbye. Very well, friend. The basements. Blunderby. Gee, I'm sure looking forward to using this. Not. Vending machine. Lost of tasty f junk food. I'm not really hungry though. And then finally, the best department. Dun dun dun. I'm looking around first. Just immediately go to the mom's room. Because that makes perfect sense. A little weird. <laughs> oh, lovely. Oh, that's even lovelier. What the hell was that? It's just its just a good friend. He's friendly. He doesn't bite or anything. Yeah. Hey, uh, Larry, your mom said I should come say hi. I just moved in for two. Oh, hey, come in. Door's open. He's a painter. Whoa, nice mask. Beautiful. It's, it's a pathetic. Oh, shit. Sorry, man. It's cool. I missed too much worse by now, so I'm glad you like it. So, do you like have no face under there? What happened? I'd rather not talk about that. Okay, change the subject. I'm Larry. I live down here with my mom. I'm Sal. My friends call me Sally Face. I just moved in here with my dad from New Jersey. That was awful timing. Sally Face. I guess I didn't really have any decent friends to be honest. So once they started calling me that, I figured I owned the name. I figured if I owned the name, then the assholes couldn't use it against me. So I'm just like randomly pausing mid sentence. I, there's like a perfume bottle right in front of my TV, and I'm way too lazy to move it. And I'm on Xbox, so <laughs> you're a complicated dude, aren't you, Sal? You're pretty strange. I like you. We're gonna get along great. Huh? That's what your mom said too. Mother knows best. Why do you live in the basement? My mom always says it's because we gotta guard the place from rats. But I'm pretty sure she gets this room rent free with the maintenance gig. It's cool though. I don't mind it. I get to listen to my music as loud as I want to when she's not around. Nice. Yeah, it's like my own little bat cave. I like your shop. Thanks, it stands for Sally Face. <laughs> I do have my own clothing line, so does he really? <laughs> it's actually for this metal band named Sally's Fold. Do you like metal? I don't know. Oh, well, that's gotta change. Check out the song. It's the first single. The first album. The full album comes out for a few months. It's such a great song. I'm not gonna interrupt it. This is the best. Okay. What happened in 4 3? Shh! Not so loud, man. Not so loud. What? What is it? The killer is still in the building. How do you know that? I saw it happen. Are you high right now? I wish I was, man. This was some scary shit. What happened? Okay. So I was helping Mrs. Samson with a clogged toilet. I was just finishing up when I heard him bust in, yelling like a lunatic. 
I know what you've done. Homer told me everything, you stupid bitch. <laughs> so funny. She tried to calm him down, but before she could get a, a, even a few words it, out, she was cut. He was cutting her throat wide open. Oh wait, did someone follow me? Wait, no, never mind. <laughs> I was shocked. I couldn't move. I was frozen by a fear man. I just peeked through the crack in the bathroom door. Anyways, it all happened so fast, and then he cleaned up so quickly and left. I don't know how, but he didn't even see me. I haven't really told anyone yet. Not even my mom. But I trust you. you know who did it? Yeah, it was definitely Charlie. Big creeper from 204. He was wearing gloves, so I don't think they got any prints or anything. Should not you tell the cops? I actually tried to talk to that detective, but he won't listen to me without any kind of evidence. Like, my war isn't enough. Hmm. Changing the subject. That's the guy with one of three. That's Mr. That's Mr. Addison. He owns the place. I don't think I've ever seen him leave his room. Always talks to his little mail slot. He's a nice dude. Just real strange. Oh yeah, if you say if you say Addison tea, you please and thank you to him, he'll give you a cup of his famous tea. I love famous tea here. I hate this stuff myself, but the adults seem to love it. And that's when the plan was formed. Okay, radio. What's this thing? That's, uh, it's a police scanner. I listen in the cop channel. How the hell did you get this thing? That's a story for another hey, for another day. But hey, you just gave me a great idea. If I make a fake call, maybe I can distract them long enough for you to sneak into 403. Maybe you can find some sort of evidence to show the detective. Something they weren't looking for. Pretty quick to sign me up for the break-in. Well, I gotta make the call down here, and I'm just messing with you. I'm totally fine. For I'm totally up for this. Better than, <laughs> than wanting to sneak in that room anyways. Sweet. So what's the plan? I'll call in the bank robbery. Hostage situation. I'm not sure clear at the cops, but sure. I'm guessing that will buy us like a few minutes until the figure out it wasn't real. You gotta be upstairs when I do that so we can make those minutes count. We can use my walkie talkies to communicate during the whole thing. And I can give you a heads up too once I know the cops are coming back. Sounds pretty solid to me. Maybe just switch the bank robbery with armed robbery at like a gas station or drugstore. Make it more believable. Hmm, yeah, I guess you're right. Good call, Sally. Here, take this. Head to your room and let me know when you're ready. Just press that like button. There to call me. Then we go to my room. Do you think just Do you think just going in my apartment is good enough? Okay, I'm in my room now. Okay, yeah. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna make the call. Give me a second. Okay, it's done. I heard a bunch of hustling upstairs, so I think it worked. Go see if you can get into four three now. Sneaking in. Do some. Examine. What did I examine? There's a broken coffee table with some books. Look like anything important? Just looks like jungle to me. Alright, keep looking then. There's gotta be something else. Okay, this... Man, this is pretty twisted. Tell me about it. There's these little figures. Looks like one is missing. I can see a small clearing in the blood. Hmm. That's it! I know how we can get him! Get out of there and come down to the basement. Okay, thank god does it for me. <laughs> Do Sanson and Charlie both collected those weird toys. They're nuts over those things. Mrs. Sanson got this super rare one or something. She was telling me about the day I was fixing her toilet. Anyways, I bet you Char I bet you Charlie couldn't resist taking it. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if that's why he offed her in the first place. That dude always did give me the creeps. Just something unsettling about him, you know? Wow, this is crazy. This guy definitely needs to get caught. We can't live in a building with a murder. Exactly. That's why you gotta get into Charlie's room and see if you can find that toy. Wait, why do I have to do it? I snuck in the 403. Charlie isn't too fond of me. There's no way he let me in. He accused me of stealing snacks from his room. Snacks! Fucking fatty. Alright, alright, I'll do it. Won't be able to sleep at night otherwise. Cool. You're the man, Sally. Here, take this baggie. You can slip the toy in without touching it. Why do I get the feeling you've done this before? <laughs> nah, I just watch too much TV. Alright, moving on. Get a painting. Painting. 
I like your paintings. Thanks, dude. It's been a passion. Do, do, do. Where is the bathroom? I have already forgotten. It's over here. I'm telling you, it sounds like something. Okay, yeah, no. We knock. Hello, young son. New visit of Absolute. Ask some tea, please, and thank you. Yes, coming right up. Do do do. Waiting. There you are, Saul. Please enjoy. Alright, Charlie, Charlie. Two or three. No one's home. Never mind. Two or four. Ah. I just realized there's like an angel and a devil up there. Whoa. Hello, Charlie. So. Okay. Hmm. Oh, ooh, is that Addison Tea I smell? Yeah, I, got, I just got some from- Ooh, I just love Addison Tea. Give it a heal. Drinks it, and then... Drinks it. <laughs> ah, so tasty, so relaxing. And he passes out. Grab it. Ah, must have doze off for a second now. I hope you weren't thinking about touching my ponies while I was sleeping, pal. I was stunned like you. One dream of it, Charlie. Good. Good, I'm glad. Say, if you could get any more Addison tea, I would love some more. Mr. Addison already cut me off for the day. It's almost like I just moved into a new place. Whoa. Hmm. This may come in handy once I have something to mix it in with. If I do get stuck on something, there would just be, like, me trying to look it up on, like, Google or something. No one knows. <laughs> uh, that's not suspicious that I grab some at all. Another cup. As much as I love that stuff, I don't know if I can drink another drop today. As surprising as that sounds. Really? But it's fresh, nice and hot. Well, maybe. No, I don't want to overdo it. Probably have at least 20 cups a day. Are you positive? This is, um... This is a new recipe. Um, uh, Mr. Addison was trying it out and I hit my controller on something. Oh. I already had three cups and I thought it was way better than the other one kind. I even... Oh, I have to try that. Give it here. Drinks it, drinks it, drinks it. Ooh, this is better than the original. I don't know how he would. Run. Got a toy. Let's go. Run, run, run. Wasted money. <laughs> How's it going, off, so? Grumble, grumble. Do. Don't you get stars down there? Grunt. Any news? If I find that you're tampering with police evidence, well, you better pray I don't find out. How's it going, officer? I think I found something. What the hell are you talking about, kid? Well, I got this. Look, I'm busy here. If you got something important, go share it with the detective down on the fourth floor. Okay. Look, pay us. Anyone here? No one's up. Okay. Hello. What's going on? Hello, young man. I just You just moved into there, correct? Yes, sir. I already spoke with your father. Seems you two were out of state when everything happened last night. Story checks out? That's good. Try to get it all away for now, okay? We're investigating a serious crime. What is it, Mahoda? I can't talk about that. I think I know who did it. Have you been talking with that Larry boy? I can't put much faith in a teenager who, who had a criminal record. Oh, I, uh... uh Look, I appreciate you kids trying to help, but unless you've got some sort of evidence, then please refrain from sp spoil this, but did it. Spreading rumors. Sorry. <laughs> I've got evidence. Let me see that. This came from Charlie's room? How did you get this? I was saying hello to my new neighbors, you know, trying to introduce myself to everyone. I was in there talking to Charlie, and he was showing all his toys. That's why I noticed that one had blood on it. I thought for sure this would be helpful, so I grabbed it with my lunch bag. Well, well. A little detective in training, huh? <laughs> Not bad, kid. I'll hold on to this. Just remember next time you come to us with with info instead of putting yourself at risk, okay? Yes, so you got it. He seems sweet. He seems like he's pleased. Good work today, Sal. You can rest easy now. I'm gonna get. I'm, he's gonna hate me for this. I'm innocent. I swear. I thought you were my friend. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. I feel bad for this stuff. Uh oh. I know what's happening. One thing, I'm not sure if this has, like, go in it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure if this is gonna be go, so avoid your eyes, just in case. I'll tell you when it's ready. 
No, it was a mouse. So I looked into the back window of the van. Up, oh, yeah, it's gone. And it's gone. Congratulations. <laughs> Such a horrific sight for anyone to see, let alone a young child as you are. Fifteen years old, and already you have witnessed two gruesome scenes. It must have been very traumatic for you. Sure, I guess so. And all these years later, and all these years later, there's new evidence that finally uh, proved Charlie was falsely accused. After so much of his life spent behind bars, how does it make you feel? I'm not convinced it wasn't him. Yes, so you've said. What about Larry? What about him? Like I said, the guy was my best friend and all through high school. And after high school? We've been over this. I lost touch with Larry after graduation. I don't know where he is now. He seemed to be upset by my mention of him. I just don't know what good asking the same question all the time is doing. I thought he was supposed to help me. I understand your frustration, Sal. I do. I want to help you, but you seem to be holding something back. I can't help you unless you're completely honest with me. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, our time is up for today. I'm pretty sure this is the end of the first episode. Wait. I... It's about Larry. I'm sorry, Sal. You know how to stay strict they are with the schedule. Please keep the thought for next session. Next week will be our last meeting before your trial. I hope you'll let me help you. Okay, the mask is on. I was confused about the sound. I don't think you are a murderer, Sal. There we are in a in a little prison uniform. You might be the only one. I think I kind of ruined that moment. <laughs> is that the end of episode one? I don't really know. <laughs> Pretty sure it is. Is this? I don't know. Sal? Sally, where are you? I am not sure. Um... I think this is the uh, beginning of the next episode, not too sure, but I'm gonna leave it here just in case. Thank you for, thank you for anyone that stayed from the raid. Thank you very much. It means a lot to me, and I hope you, I hope you all have a really good day. Following would mean a lot to me, and I also have a YouTube channel that you could check out if you want to watch like old streams that I've very poorly edited. Giving myself clout here. <laughs> Thank you for joining, and I hope you guys have a lovely day, and have stay safe. <laughs>